फाइंड द क्यूब रूट ऑफ सेवन टू नाइन टू फाइंड द क्यूब रूट फर्स्ट वी शुड डू द प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ इट सो लेट एस डू दैट इज सेवन टू नाइन नाउ For this number, last digit is nine, which is not even. So this is not divisible by two. Next prime number is three. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is seven plus two plus nine. We get eighteen. Is eighteen divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. Now first number is seven. A number close to seven in three table is three to six. Seven minus six is one. One carried forward, making it twelve. When do we get twelve in three table? Three fourths twelve. Now here we have nine. When do we get nine in three table? Three three is nine. Next, for this number last digit is three, which is not even. So this is not divisible by two. To check divisibility by three, for that we should add the digits. That is two plus four plus three is nine. Nine divisible by three, yes. So this number also divisible by three. So we take three here. Now first number is two. Two is smaller than three, so we take two numbers. That is twenty-four. Now when do we get twenty-four in three table? Three eights twenty-four. Next number is three. When do we get three in three table? Three ones three. Now for this number, last digit is one, which is not even, so this is not divisible by two. To check divisibility by three, for that you add the digits. That is eight plus one, nine. Is nine divisible by three? Yes. So this number also divisible by three, so we take three here. First number is eight. Now a number close to eight in three table is three to six. Eight minus six is two. Two carried forward, making it twenty one. When do we get twenty one in three table? Three seven is twenty one. Now here we have twenty seven. Twenty seven is nothing but three nines. Now nine is three threes. Now three is a prime number, so three and one. So now seven to nine. is equal to the product of these numbers okay so how many times did we get 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3, into 3. okay next here we have to find the cube root cube root means take cube root on both the sides okay next now we have a property for the cube root inside the cube root whenever a number is present three times that number will come outside and it will become only once i repeat a number is present three times inside the cube root it will come out then it will become only once now inside the cube root we have three again present three times so when it comes out it will become only one time three no more numbers are left out in the cube root so we are left with 3 into 3 that is 9 so cube root of 7 to 9 is 9 this is how we find the cube root am i clear